What's up guys, this is Heiss. Today we're in the cab of the Denver and Rio Grande Western number 491 here at the Colorado Railroad Museum. We're in between shows of Polar Express. So we get to sit up here and hide and all that, but I got a couple comments lately about people asking about how you see stuff at night on the cab and what you can see. And the fun fact of the matter is I have to use an external light for my GoPro in order for you to see me and see what I'm doing. So I've used that for a lot of things, but without the light, you can actually see plenty and everything you need in the cab, thanks to our various cab lights. That loud, high-pitched whirring sound you're hearing is the Dynamo, which is a steam-powered electric generator. It spins pretty quick and is really loud and obnoxious because it dumps right up above in front of the cab. But that powers all of our lights. As soon as you turn on the dynamo, all of these little light bulbs turn on. So we have one for our main pressure gauge here. We have special ones and special shrouds for our water glasses so we can measure our water level. And we can see that our water is redonkulously high right now, but that's fine. We have one up for our hydrostatic lubricator there so the engineer can see what the bullseye is doing. The engineer's got one for both of the pressure gauges right here. This is for all the air brakes. We have main reservoir, equalizing reservoir, and then brake pipe, and the brake cylinder over there. The engineer's also got an order light on a switch, so you can read orders as he sits in the seat. You got switches there for the class lamps, for the weird light that's down below the cab, and then of course the headlight switch up there. The weird light below the cab is something that the Denver and Rio Grande Western put on many of their locomotives. It was made so that the engineer could better judge their speed while at night. And how does that work? If you're looking at just the headlight ahead, you can't really see exactly how fast you're going because you have less depth perception because yep. it's night out and your eyes have adjusted. Right. So having the, the weird light bulb right under the cab Having it so close, you actually get a judge of how fast you're going. The, the naked light bulb? The naked light bulb. Because yeah. the Rio Grande was just a bunch of cheap bastards. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we have the tender deck light. So that you have some semblance of hope of seeing the coal. But without my extra light, that's about what it looks like. And after you've stared in the fire, which is normally a lot brighter than that. A lot brighter than that. You can't see anything down there. So it makes for quite the interesting time, that's for sure. Anyways, I hope you guys like this little look at the different lights on the steam locomotive and how we can run and operate the steam engines at night. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Paul. Oh, yeah. That's right, we changed the throttle climate. <laughs> Yeah, back to the way it was before. I like it better, but my muscle memory said bring it out to there. <laughs>